This video is about the types of nerve fibers. The types of nerve fibers on the basis of histology or on the basis of their structure. So on the basis of their structure, the nerve fibers are of two types, myelinated nerve fibers and non-myelinated nerve fibers. So there are some differences and similarities between myelinated nerve fibers and non-myelinated nerve fibers. So the similarities are that these both types of nerve fibers that are classified on the basis of structure or on the basis of histology, these are myelinated nerve fibers and non-myelinated nerve fibers. These both are the nerve fibers and these both nerve fibers are involved in the conduction of nerve impulse transmission. So what are the some differences between these two both of nerve fibers that they are classified into two types these differences are on the basis of structure so these structures also affects their functions the first difference is that as the name indicates that myelinated nerve fibers these are surrounded by the myelin sheets these are surrounded by the myelin sheet or the body is covered by the myelin sheets as the myelin sheets are made by are made up of proteins and lipids. While the non-myelinated nerve fibers, they, their body is not covered with myelin sheet. So this myelin sheet also provides the gaps as these myelin sheet in case of myelinated nerve fibers, these, there are the gaps between these sheets and these gaps are known as the nodes of Renewer. So myelinated nerve fibers, they are composed of the consist of nodes of granular because they are surrounded by the myelin sheet while the non-myelinated nerve fibers they are not surrounded by the myelin sheet so it does not contain the nodes of granular so what are the function of these myelin sheet or the node of granular as these are involved in the nerve impulse conduction or nerve impulse transmission let's see as the speed of signal construction as the myelinated nerve fibers the speed of the signal transmission is faster in case of myelinated nerve fibers, while in case of non-myelinated nerve fibers, the signal transduction is slow. So why this happens? Because the non-myelinated nerve fibers are surrounded by the myelin sheets and they have the gaps, nodes of Renewer present between them. So these nodes of Renewer basically help them for the faster conduction of signal transmission. While the non-myelinated nerve fibers, they are not surrounded by the myelin sheet and does not have the nodes of Renewer. So the nerve impulse transduction is slower as compared to the myelinated nerve fibers. So what about the loss of impulse? So loss of impulse during these myelinated nerve fibers is low because these myelin sheets and nodes of Renewer, this prevents the impulse for the loss. While in case of non-myelinated nerve fibers, there is no protection as the myelin sheet provides the cushion and support to these nerve fibers, so they are not surrounded by the supporting myelin sheets. So the loss of impulse transmission can happen in case of non-myelinated nerve fibers. So how this nerve impulse transmission is basically uh, is faster in myelinated nerve fibers as compared to the non-myelinated nerve fibers, because in myelinated nerve fibers, this myelin sheet there is a gap known as the node of Renewer. So for the nerve impulse transmission, it jumps from node, from one node to another node. So that's the action potential basically takes place for the nerve impulse transmission. So action potential basically takes place in these nodal areas as the node of Renewers. So that's why the action potential basically jumps from one node to another node and to the other node. So that's why the nerve impulse transmission is faster in myelinated nerve part fibers while in case of non-myelinated nerve fibers the nerve action potential it takes place throughout the exon so that's why the nerve impulse transmission is slower as compared to that of myelinated because the action potential has to travel throughout the exon while in case of myelinated it will only jump from one node to the another node so these were the major differences and now some other differences between these two types of fibers. The myelinated nerve fibers, these are, appear as white in color, while non-myelinated nerve fibers, they appear gray in color. The other difference is of the location. 
In the peripheral nervous system, these both types of nerve fibers can be found. So in peripheral nervous system, the malignated nerve fibers are present, while in peripheral nervous system, the non-malignated nerve fibers can also be seen. While in the central nervous system, the non-malignated nerve fibers are present. So non-malignated nerve fibers are present in the central nervous system, while these non-malignated nerve fibers are also present in the peripheral nervous system, while the malignated nerve fibers are, are not present in the central nervous system. So because as in the peripheral nervous system, these nerve fibers are involved in the faster uh, nerve impulse conduction. So mostly in central nervous system, these normalized nerve fibers are present and they are involved in lower or, or slow nerve impulse conduction. So what is the length of these nerve fibers? So mostly the malignated nerve fibers are found in the peripheral nervous system. So they are long and non malignated nerve fibers that are most specifically present in the central nervous system, they are short in size. So these were all about the two different types of nerve fibers that were classified on the basis of their structure, on the basis of the nerve